you guys. So I have done multiple cleaning videos on my channel, whether I'm deep cleaning my bedroom, cleaning out my closet, cleaning the kitchen, bathroom, whatever, but I've never done a video about cleaning my digital space. I haven't gone through and deleted things off of my computer or my phone in a long time. So I thought for today's video, I would motivate you guys to do the same, clean out your phone, clean out your computer, anything in the digital space, we're gonna clean out together today. The main things that I'm focusing on is just clearing out things on my desktop, getting rid of some photos on my camera roll, on my phone, deleting apps. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and it motivates you guys to clean out your digital space as well. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. my desktop right now because it's a chaotic chaotic mess but it needs to be done it really needs to be done i think like half of these things just belong in the trash so let's go ahead and start by clearing off the desktop and then we'll go into the downloads and the recent files screenshots all that kind of stuff so Let's get started with the first space that actually inspired this video, and that is my desktop. I have so much random videos, screenshots, documents that are not yet in folders, so I'm gonna go through those and throw away the ones that I don't need, and then eventually I'll go into all of the different folders and we'll go through all those, but I have a lot of folders that are kind of in the same category, so I'm just gonna make new folders and make those subfolders, if that makes sense. YouTube assets and my editing tools in one folder. And then for my freelancing, Content by Faith, I have invoices, other assets for clients, letters of recommendation. All of those things are gonna go into one folder. I just like the minimalistic look. And then weirdly enough, I had two separate folders with user-generated content in it. So what I'm gonna do is go through the file that's on my desktop and transfer some of those videos onto my external hard drive so all of my content is in one place and super easy to access when I need to get to that. Okay, next tedious spot is the downloads. You guys, I got rid of so many random videos and documents on my download sheet. Literally, it takes like two scrolls to get through all of my downloads. I'm very impressed. And now for the most satisfying part. For the cherry on top, a new wallpaper. Of course, I found one from Pinterest. I found this really neutral landscape art photo and I just put a color simple background behind it because I didn't want the desktop to be filled with just this photo. I wanted to give it a minimal vibe. Okay, so I officially cleaned up everything on my computer, changed the desktop wallpaper. You guys, it looks really, really good. I am like honestly ready to like start working again. Like I want the weekend to be over so I can like work on stuff now because my computer looks so like clean. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go on and organize my phone. That is a whole other beast. The one thing that I'm going to focus on the most is the photos in the folders in my photos app and then also going through my apps. I have multiple apps, especially like photo editing apps where I'm like, oh, what if I wanna make this kind of edit on my Instagram photos and I never do. So I'm gonna go through my phone. I'm going to clear out some stuff. And honestly, this took a couple hours. So the first thing I tackled was the camera roll. I had all these random folders that I got rid of and then I quickly went through my favorites folder. I favored a lot of photos, especially Especially for Instagram so I did that really quickly and then my full camera roll you guys literally I deleted so many photos and videos it's insane course I'm giving my phone a new wallpaper just like I did with my computer I kind of went with the same vibe like the same color scheme this is just like a wall with like sunlight on it this kind of reminds me of like summer mornings in my room where it's bright and airy so I wanted to put that onto my phone so I did it for both my lock screen and my home screen 
I also really quickly went and edited my widgets. I just used the Pinterest widget and you can change the board and how often you want to update it. So I did my fashion board. So every hour I get fresh fashion inspo. Now, before I deleted any apps, I went ahead and rearranged all the apps on my phone. So I put some in folders. I got rid of some to remove from the home screen. I really wanted to minimize the space because I just wanted to have the apps that I use on a daily basis available right then and there when I need it. And like I said before, I have a lot of photo editing apps that I needed to get rid of. So this was a perfect opportunity to do that. I deleted so many apps and I kept it to a minimum. So like my go-to apps for filters, retouching, um, also my preview app and all that kind of stuff. and went through every app on my phone and deleted a lot of them. I had like the most random like shopping apps. I had the most random influencer apps I didn't even remember downloading. So this was again, a really good opportunity to go through with what I already had and just clear it all. This was definitely a much needed cleanse. I feel like I can get to everything on my phone and my computer a lot easier. I highly recommend doing this if you haven't done it yet. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll be seeing more cleaning content, social media talks, everyday vlogs, that kind of thing will be on this channel. Also, you can follow my day-to-day -day life on my social medias, link down below, of course. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.